The um, Provincial B License is the entry level licensing award in the long term player development inspired coaching pathway of the Canadian Soccer Association. Uh, it's also known as part one of the National B License uh, for coaching candidates that would like to pursue a national level certification. Uh, I've often been asked the question about what's the value of having a Provincial B License and it's a good question but the short answer to it is that most soccer countries around the world can draw links directly between the quality and level of their coach education program and the success of their national programs. We need to start thinking that way here in Canada. Um, my message to coaches is let's get serious. Let's start moving forward and coaching education is a great way to do that. Uh, the Provincial B License can open up many coaching opportunities for coaches, including working within the Alberta Soccer Association Provincial Program. Our Mini Stars Program can also open up the door to work at an Alberta Major Soccer League level, uh, college level, and even university levels uh, here in Alberta. With my new position at McEwen University, it was definitely something that was uh, you know, an integral part of, of my development as a coach. Um, and, and, you know, with that being said, I think it was definitely something that should be a fixture for all coaches coming up. And, and it definitely uh, laid the foundation for me as a coach and opened up a lot of different uh, opportunities as well as different ways of looking at things. Uh, the Provincial B License is really geared towards the train to train stage of the long term player development long-term athlete development model, um, which encompasses working, coaches working with uh, 12 to 16 year olds, and it's about identifying the elite player. I'd recommend the course to anyone who has, uh, who has the desire to work with uh, you know, elite players. Uh, I also think it's something uh, not to rush through. I do think that uh, it's something it takes time and experience to develop yourself as a coach. Um, I felt taking uh, you know a few years to develop myself before I took the B license was beneficial. I had that confidence um, going through the courses, uh, some of the community courses before, and taking that knowledge and, and taking it to the training ground and to match day, and then building that confidence and moving on to take the uh, the B license. The provincial B license consists of uh, a strong mix of both classroom uh, theory work and practical work. Uh, out on the pitch. It's 40 hours in duration plus testing and evaluation. I think but when you start to understand the game at that next level in terms of you know the provincial B and, and the national B and so on and so forth you start to really understand how you can start to break down the game and dissect it but just you know coaching your team to understand attacking principles, defending principles, when the team is in possession, when the team isn't in possession, those main moments in the game um, it really yeah. kind of opened my eyes in terms of seeing the game in a different perspective. The Provincial B License Program also has a, a special initiative for women. Uh, it's a Women's in Coaching initiative. Uh, it's a winter program that includes uh, both mentorship and practical work, uh, which provides candidates the opportunity to work with provincial level athletes all winter long. Uh, with a view to complete a spring evaluation. Um, I'm very uh, new to coaching, so uh, I thought that the mentorship program that I went through was really helpful in terms of getting one-on-one -on -one, uh, feedback from my mentor coach. It's not only important to have coaches um, that have played the game, but also know the game. And I think these type of mentorship programs provide great opportunities for females, especially females, to get into coaching and it's really good for the young uh, females in our soccer community to have that role model to look up to. You know, without quality coaches, I think the game is left up to chance. I was told on, uh, by one of the instructors on the course, and I, I definitely agree with that. Uh, we have coaches who are looking to, to, to develop players, and, and we need them to go through the proper, um, the proper routes and the proper uh, training programs to make sure that they are um, in line with CSA's long-term uh, player development model. So at the end of the day, any coach who has aspirations and shows some capability to be able to work with a train-to-train -train level athlete 
They should seriously consider the provincial e-license. Why wouldn't you? A license is no guarantee of success, but it does signify a minimum standard. Coaching education is absolutely vital to the success of our game across the country. Let's raise the bar. Let's get serious. Every one of our kids deserves a qualified coach.